Uh, hello everybody, my name is LogiGamer63 and welcome back to Puzzle Agent. But anyway, in the last video, there was a bunch of spooky stuff that happened. It was so spooky, I, I can't even tell you the spookiness. The only reason I'm not telling you is because I want you to go watch my last video. What was that? Okay, I don't know what that was, but it was something. Anyway, we, we gotta go see that crazy guy. Yeah, yeah, that crazy guy right there. I swear that screwdriver is is involved somehow. So anyway, what was that you. Thing? What happened? Did it try to eat your ear? If two rows are white, rotations affect orientation, and then, huh? Huh? Oh, great. Since Bo's brain got all scrambled, all inputs end up in the pit of perplexity. Dragon, oh come on! Dragon job here has an empty slots to redirect his stupid. Ugh. Oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a brain surgeon now. Oh, God. Drag arrows from menu of each of the highlight spaces. Your minion, uh, your mission is to direct Bo's thoughts from Nelson up to the light bulb. The stream of thought will move in the direction of any arrow it hits. A brain tube will cause the stream of thought to bounce off at a right angle. Think you have a... Oh, so this, this is like the thing at, at the first one. Okay, okay. So... How do I... Okay, so I gotta get it at the. Okay, hold on. What? Okay, but rolls. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Drag arrows from the menu to each of the highlight. Your mission is to direct Bo's thoughts from Nelson up to the light bulb. Stream of thought will move in the direction of any arrow it hits. Brain tube will cause a stream to bounce off. Okay. So if I go up. Up, and then okay, okay. I think I get this. I get, get, get this. So he talks right there. It bounces up there. So you need a okay, okay. So okay, um, this is slightly more complicated than I had first anticipated. Okay, I think I got it. Hello? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh. Yep. Why? Why would I expect anything different? OMG, OMG, I think I did it. I think I did it. I think I did it. Yes, after eight failed attempts, I did it! I'm bad at this game! Borderline! Oh. I wish I could have showed you guys what I did, but unfortunately... Um... Well, that was a very interesting puzzle. Exactly. The moon crashed too loudly. Whispers what? Clear the path. Look, there's another gear thing. Another gear? Hmm. Yeah. Hey, you got any more I puzzles? Not. Okay, we're just gonna do some more puzzles, sorry buddy. Okay. What happened? I'd rather not say. Yeah, I'm watching you. I got your pipe back. Let's finish putting this back together. That was some spookiness, though. Okay, so... If that's the final pipe... Then... It shouldn't be too difficult. Okay... Come on... Okay, so that, that doesn't quite fit. That doesn't quite fit either. That fits better, but... Okay, so... Hold on. I thought it said... Okay, hold on, hold on. 
The stovepipe may split, but all sections must rejoin on the way to the chimney. Okay. That means... Well, that clearly means that isn't right. But then there's that... Give me a minute. Uh... This might not be right... But we're gonna try it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes! Self-confidence restored! Yes! I, when, when this series is all said and done, I'm, I'm just gonna do a video where, using all of my knowledge, I'm There you go, I'm your stove's all fixed. Why, thank you, Mr. Tethers. <clears throat> you FBI types sure are handy. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Of course, you seem relatively coherent. Do people ever talk about seeing, um, little people in pointy hats? Oh, the hidden people. Yeah, it's an old Nordic superstition. My grandfather used to tell me stories. They say they live among us in the ground, trees, rocks. But I just know the ones that live in my window. Okay. But, but, just, just let me ask you something. There was, it was just like one section of pipes. It's just like, we had to put three pipes together. But no, we had to go through this big, long, complicated thing. You guys can't see what I'm doing with my hands. But I'm doing a lot of complicated... Ow, I freaking hit my hand. Ow. Repairman. Was Mr. Scruffman working here on the night of the accident? Yeah, the fence outside was a terrible mess. I think some kids were trying to rip it down or something. Did it take mm. him long to fix? Oh, yeah, all night. Well, it looks like it's not fixed. If you're still looking for suspects, I'd start looking at that Bjorn fella. But you didn't hear that from me. Yeah, sure. No, but I, I keep talking to Bjorn. He won't talk. Can you tell me anything more about the hidden people? Oh, yeah. Tourists love the stories. But Bjorn mm. and his friends take them very seriously. Oh? Oh, yeah, they mm. don't like the decorative gnomes in my window. Okay, I'll, I'll take that information. Wait, is there is there something... Yeah, it's just like... Just, what does the screwdriver Someone mean? Left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean. Probably of no consequence. I'm sure it's going to be of some consequence, of some level. Hmm. <clears throat> well, Mr. Scruffman's alibi checks out. My glob is dead. And I just saw living garden gnomes. Yeah. I think I'm going to head back to the diner and have a chat with Sheriff Bob. But first you gotta talk to Bjorn. Hey! Hey Bjorn! Bjorn, where 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 are you going, Bjorn? We got some questions for you. Uh wait, we can go to the sheriff's state? No, not yet, not yet. To the most ear diner. I mean is, if if any of my viewers live in wait a minute. Is Scoggins, Minnesota? Or, say, say there was a piece of gum I missed in the last video. Okay, but question, like, if, if any of my viewers do live in Minnesota, I don't know if Scoggins is a real place. I'm pretty sure it's not. Please, please don't kill me if any of you are from Scoggins, Minnesota. <laughs> Point is, if, if any of my viewers are from Minnesota, please, please tell me if this is what Minnesota is actually like. The Sheriff Bog, what, what is this thing? Those chairs thing? weren't here before, were they? No, no, they weren't. One of them Nordic guys brought them in right after I ordered my pie. Pie that I'm still waiting for. Hmm. <laughs> Something odd about them. Oh, come on. Something spray paint on the stack of eat Istra chairs. Arrange them to discover a secret in... I swear if I have to do more of this rotating puzzle nonsense. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one right there. Jeez, how many... Oh! I'm apparently good at discovering stuff. Mm. 
Looks like I'm getting somewhere. Yeah, this one shouldn't be too hard to get. Hold on, so... Jeez, how many of these chairs are there? I'm just gonna put these in random places and see where they stick. Uh... Yeah, something tells me I didn't do that correctly. So... No, no, I'm trying to grab this one. Uh, okay. I think I got it. I believe this episode is simply meant to, to reclaim all of my self-confidences. Because I'm, I'm good at this. That image you just made? That's the symbol those launch guys use. Really? Interesting. Interesting. What do you guys know about Bjorn? You mean the old hippie who spies on people out by the hotel? He's one of those old Nordic guys that hangs out at the lodge. Brothers of Skagens or something like that. Brothers and weirdos if you ask me. Lodge, huh? I'll check it out. Also, I'm sorry about the pie you're still ordering. You! Repairman! I checked up on the repairman. He was working at the hotel on the night of the accident. Alibi checked out, huh? He's in yep. the clear. He couldn't have been involved. What about Bjorn? If you looked into Bjorn and his friends, he seems to be an avid environmentalist. Perhaps the accident is a political statement. Nah. Bjorn's always been a major part of this community. It's even before my badge was pinning up my diapers. You wore a sheriff's badge on your diapers? This is a community that celebrates its Nordic heritage, Agent Tethers. Not one that advocates violence. But violence is the answer to all problems, except those that don't involve violence. Have you heard about this hidden people superstition? Hidden people? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh. You had me going there, Tether. A government agent investigating elves and hippie legends. <laughs> uh, yeah, how'd you go in there? Okay, goodbye then. Sounds like you have had a busy day. Let's wrap it up for today and start fresh tomorrow. But you haven't really done anything. And we're no closer to getting that factory up and running. Agent Tether, Where are we? from the big city. Around here, we take our time. Keep our heads clear. As far as I can tell, everyone's heads are filled with puzzles. Puzzles are a way to keep yourself from asking questions you don't want answers to. What does that mean? I don't know. It means, I'll see you in the morning, Agent Tether. Okay, then, hey, where's Gloria? What's the Gum! Hey, what's this? Investigating. There's some tobacco on the counter. It smells like cherry. I guess the waitress hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. Cool. But where is she? That's, that's something I want to know. No, I'm actually really starting to get invested in this game. Bjorn is starting to look more and more suspicious. I just got a tip that he holds secret meetings in a local lodge. I remember seeing something about a lodge on my Scoggins map. I wonder if it's the same one. Perhaps. But I, I'm really starting to get invested in this game, and I hope you guys are too, because, uh... Because cause this is actually, like... I'm, I'm actually starting to wonder, like, what's actually going on in this game. Like, I'm sure everything's gonna wrap up nicely at the end, but, but for now, I'm actually really curious. Okay, but I, I think I was saying something earlier. If, if anyone is... For, if any of my viewers are from Minnesota, please please tell me if it's like this in Minnesota or not. Hmm? The door to the lodge is locked. No! It seems to be your standard locking device. No! Maybe a deadbolt. Okay. Um, is that gum? No, that's just a leaf. Or a piece of fabric. 
were some bright orange cloth Yes, I knew it. I wonder if Mike Log was trying to get away from this place in a hurry. Hmm, but Mike is dead. I mean, we could have saved him, but we were like, mm, yeah, I'll just go ahead and let him freeze like to death. Looks like someone doesn't want me to see what's going on inside. Spooky Illuminati rituals. This game, this game it truly, truly fascinates me. Like, this, this guy can find a puzzle in anything. Like, uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, why, why do I suck so much? I bet you could turn that into a puzzle. Draw a straight line from one red dot to another that will slice through every barrier blocking the window. Solve it. Come on, so... Okay. Oh, it's gonna be... Come on. Oh. Well, maybe it's not so complicated. Ha! Uh, wait. Okay, trying again. Failing at trying again. Failing at trying again. Well, this line cuts everything except this one right here, so... What do I have to do? Okay, so... This one plank right here bothers me. Hold on. Did I... Come on, come on, come on. Don't let your tack pair dollars go to waste, guys. No! Cut through every barrier in a single street. What did I miss? Oh, that one. Ah. Uh. So, ah. Uh. Okay, I think this is it. I'm sorry I wasted so many taxpayer dollars. I'm not good at this game. Yes! <laughs> Dang it, I got one wrong answer. Uh, can, 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 I just, can I just please have one episode where I get all the puzzles right on my first try again? What you doing? You trying to summon Illuminati? Spooky, you killed a lot of deers, they're on the wall. Glory! Oh, hey, hey, Sheriff. If you want a good look around, you might try knocking on the door. Sheriff Bob! Oh, you startled me. Too spooky. It doesn't shoot you, Agent Teddy. What are you doing here? Uh, d d d Illuminati! Oh, no, Lodge. What the heck is going on in there? Spooky Illuminati Literally. stuff. Celebrate their cultural tradition. And by that they mean try to summon the Illuminati! Conspiracy! There's something about this crew that seems off to me. Agent Heather, you're here to get the factory back open. Not to question or belittle the beliefs of the townsfolk. Well, your beliefs are not the same as my beliefs, so that means your beliefs are not good. Don't don't take that out of context. I'm accepting I'm of all beliefs. Sure I saw Glory Davner in there. Waitress? I doubt it. She was standing right there a second ago. Time to go, Agent Tether. Illuminati! I'll escort you back to the hotel. Well, Sheriff Bog is right. It is time to go. Because... Hold on. Make it an early night. Turn in, Agent Tether. I don't want to see you out here again tonight. Okay. Anyway, uh, trust me, you don't want to be out here either. It's it's still going on. 
Okay, is the cutscene over now? Still! Sheriff Bog definitely isn't working with me. I'm sure I saw Glory Davner at the lodge. Hey. Hey, Glory! What you doing, Glory? Why are you... <laughs> okay. Now, Glory Davner's sneaking around town. Illuminati confirmed. Is this cutscene over now? Thank you. Anyway, Sheriff Bog was right. It is time to go. Because that's going to be it for this episode, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this game is just like... It's amazing. You can get it for a couple bucks on Steam. I don't exactly remember the price right now, but... Yeah, it's, it's really fun. If, if you guys, like, seriously, like, pick it up if, if you got a couple extra bucks lying around. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, everyone. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you all next time. Oh, goodbye, everybody.